Hi, my name is Nila O'Connor and this week's blog, I want to talk to you a little bit about, well, Picard here and hope. And you may have seen a post that I put up on Facebook, maybe you didn't. Um, Picard hopped into a neighbour's car about five weeks ago as the neighbour was bringing a washing machine. Hello. The neighbour was bringing a washing machine to um, Power City. And as he opened the door to take out his washing machine, guess who jumped out of the back of his car, but ran away. And by the time we figured out that it was our cat that had run away, we were 24 hours late looking for Picard. And we didn't find him, but we put posters up and I suppose we kept his things in the house. And there was always in me a hope that we would find Picard, that somebody in the area would find him and bring him back to us. Picard will be one year old next week. And so he was quite a young cat to be lost at least 10 kilometers from home on his own. And somebody did contact me yesterday by text telling me that they thought they had Picard in their housing estate. He had just arrived and other tomcats in the area were not very welcoming. And so I hopped in the car and I went over and there was Picard and you might hear him purring away there. Very quiet, very subdued cat now at the minute. But what it did for me is remind me very much that hope, that hope and hope, hope itself to me is not something on its own. It, it, it sort of is all about a belief as well, isn't it? A belief in the more than, a belief that that there is possibility that things can happen. And Picard and story of how we got Picard back really sums up hope for me. I didn't give up hope. I put those posters up in hope. And every day I'd look at the food box sitting in the cupboard and his little bed and his little water dish. And I would hope that I would see Picard drinking water and I would visualize him doing it. And sure enough, here he is, back, doing all of those things, eating his food, drinking his water, purring away as he's here up in my arms. And he teaches me never to give up hope. What is it that you need to hope, find hope for? And whatever it is, never give up hope. I have other stories in my life that, that exemplify not giving up hope even more. And I'm not going to go into them right now, but this guy tells me just before Easter that, that, that as humans, we are hopeful beings and we always seek the light rather than the darkness. And if you're somebody who's struggling with that right now, if you're finding that you're more focused on the darkness than you are on the light, perhaps you need to do some tapping or get in touch with a friend or and reignite your hope. You can message me, you can talk to me if you need to reignite your hope. And maybe this story will inspire you to believe in hoping, hoping for a better day, hoping for a better life and visualizing it because that's what I did. I kept all those things there, all out, all around the place and kept hoping to see him I visualized him back there doing all those things. And here he is, five weeks later, he's back with us doing all of those things. So never give up hope. Have a happy Easter.